Ellie's licking herself. <laughs> as soon as I start. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nandrochi channel. Today I have something that isn't an android. Again, I'm sorry, I will get back to Nandroids very very soon, but today, as a lot of you will be aware, if I'm able to upload this today, is the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee for the Nintendo Switch. Now I haven't spoken about how much I love Pokemon in this channel before because it's never really come up in any of the topics in my videos, but I am a massive, massive Pokemon fan. I have been for as long as I can remember and while I am aware that Let's Go is getting a lot of backlash from like the hardcore fans, I think a lot of it is somewhat elitist. Like this isn't replacing the mainstream games, we're still going to be getting more, we're getting one in 2019 which has already been confirmed and that's not that far away, right? So calm, <laughs> it's okay, let the people who want to enjoy this enjoy this, like don't be so elitist, hardcore fans can still enjoy spin-offs, if there's a kind of a spin-off, kind of a remake, it's, it's somewhere in between and I get that a lot of people aren't going to be happy with that because they want something different but as I say, they're gonna get it eventually. And even if this is just a filler, it's the first time we've ever seen Pokemon on the Switch. So surely that's exciting anyway. So up until today, I didn't actually own a Switch and I, I don't know, I kept just putting it off. I was interested in it, I was interested in the concept, far more than I was interested in the Wii U, which obviously everybody knows went downhill very quickly. But I, I always wanted one, but there was never a game that came out that really made me go, yeah, this is the game that I'm going to buy an entire new console for. 3DS and DS titles always appeal to me more, I've always been a Pokemon person, I've always been an Animal Crossing kind of person, and now the announcements for all of these are coming up, Let's Go has just been released, and I decided now is probably the best time to jump on the bandwagon and try out the Switch for myself. Now I know I'm probably going to be playing mine handheld because I don't actually have a TV in my room. I do have a TV in the house but it would need to be set up, there's not an awful lot of space. But I think the handheld aspect of it is really going to be good for me. I think it's just going to be a bigger DS, right? Surely, with, you know, the motion controls, which again, I don't know if I'll use. But I'm rambling and I need to shut up. Long story short, and as you'll have seen from the title, I have bought the bundle. So in this box, which arrived this morning before my class, yeah, if I look really tired, it's because I had a very important class this morning and I could barely sleep last night, but this is worth it. <laughs> And we're coming back from that and getting straight into this is uh, the only thing that got me through that, quite frankly. But yeah, I, I ordered the bundle, I ordered Eevee version because I'm a massive Eevee girl. And yeah, I ordered it directly from Nintendo so you'll be able to see the bonuses that come with that. It was quite expensive but I think it's worth it just given that I've been putting off buying the Switch for so long. Now I'm being inundated with game recommendations from people and I'm just really excited to try it out. This is the first like heavier console I've had in a very very long time, probably since the PS2. I've kind of just been leeching off of other people's consoles since then, like other than the, the 3DS's of course, but yeah, I'm excited. I've been talking for too long. I'm very, I, I'm excited but I'm putting it off because it's just such a, I've been waiting for weeks. <clears throat> okay. Let's get into it. So I've opened the box off camera um, and I'm greeted by all of these bags of air. I'm gonna just go ahead and take those off and immediately we're presented with the bonuses from ordering directly from Nintendo. So here we have the Eevee keyring that comes with the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee bundle. It's very very cute and I never realised Eevee was supposed to have purple eyes but I guess she does and the art on the tag is from the game and it has a wee Switch logo on it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited. We also have the Joy-Con thumb caps with Pikachu and Eevee on them that come with this bundle. Again, if you order directly from Nintendo. I'm not sure if this was a pre-order bonus or if you just get this included in the bundle regardless of when you buy it. I'll need to check that out, but they're pretty cute and I think they'll go really, really well with the limited colours on the Pikachu and Eevee Switch. Here we just have a big old promo booklet for Nintendo Labo. Honestly, I'm not particularly interested in this. I think the concept is really cool, um, but of course it is, it is aimed more at like younger ages and I think if I had kids, or if I knew kids, I'd certainly be getting this for them because I do think it's really cool. Um, quite expensive for what it is, but this is not what we're talking about, so let's move on to the exciting part. Here it is, guys. My Switch has arrived. 
Here's the box with Evie on it. We've got the Joy-Cons here, the limited edition dock. The back has Evie and Pikachu on it, looking really cute for looking in the grass. I really like the design on this. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that the pack comes with a Pokeball Plus. So you can buy Pokeball Pluses separately or you can buy them with the big bundle that has the Switch in it or you can buy them as a bundle just with the games, I think. So you can just buy Let's Go Game, either Pikachu or Eevee, and you can get the Pokeball alongside it. I know a lot of people won't be interested in it at all, but as it came with a bundle anyway, I'm excited to have it, I guess. I think this is the only way you can get Mew anywhere in the game, so paywall, yeah, nobody's happy with that, but it is what it is. So this is what we're met with as soon as you open the box. We can see the Switch screen, the main part of the console there, and the Eevee and Pikachu Joy-Cons. I'll be doing close-ups of all of these afterwards, I won't go through them immediately. And here we also have the Joy-Con straps. If you're using the motion controls and just the Joy-Con controllers when they're detached from the console. Well, here's the Joy-Con grip as well, which I haven't heard particularly good things about, but it's free, so I don't really mind. I might end up getting the Pikachu Switch controller. I'll link it if you're interested and if you don't know what I'm talking about. It looks really fun, so I might end up getting that, honestly, if I do want to play docked. And speaking of the dock, I thought this is what was going to be in here. Here we have the limited edition Pikachu and Eevee Nintendo Switch dock. These guys are just decals on the top, but their colouring is so, so cute. I love how they've just used the, the yellow to represent the Pikachu and the brown for the Eevee rather than, you know, going in with the red and the cream and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just a typical dock with these guys on it. Oh, I'm so glad I waited to buy one now. These are so cute. And I just kind of overlooked this, but we got the Nintendo Switch Important Information Manual. I will read this, I promise, just not right now. And on the side here, we have the Pokeball Plus. We have a user manual for that as well. Oh, we have the charger, sorry. Adapter, charger, HDMI, fun stuff. You know, not that fun, but necessary. We have another thing. Is this to charge the Pokeball? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And um, it's tiny. Oh my God, it's heavy. Oh, it feels so nice. It feels like powdered. That sounds really weird. Okay, actually, when you put it in my hand, it doesn't look that small, but for like a normal sized human hand, <laughs> like if like a guy hand was holding that, it would be like tiny, but I have pretty small hands anyway, so. I like it. I like it. I'm probably never going to use that, to be honest. I'm just going to hold it. Like, I'm not going to throw it, am I, really? Unless I get super into it. Button feels a bit weird. Oh, I'm so excited to try that out. How do you charge this? I'm not going to mess around with it just yet. We'll find out. I'll read the instruction manual, I promise. Right, let's get the box out of the way. Ilya, hello. <gasps> Ilya wants to see the Pokeball Plus. <laughs> oh, no, she doesn't. She doesn't like the smell of it. Okay, boom. I also, I've already bought screen protectors for this, so I'll be putting that on pretty soon. Da -da -dun. The console, beautiful and shiny still. Elias paws. <laughs> and the back, prepare yourselves. Oh, that looks so nice. That looks nice. Wait, let me try and get a light which actually shows it. Oh, there we go. So the Pikachu and Eevee silhouettes on the back in like a glossy decal. Looks really, really nice against the matte black finish of the Switch. I'm so excited, guys! Oh, right, I'll need to register all of this just in case you can actually read the numbers, which I doubt. But I'm gonna put this directly back in the bag, though, <laughs> until I put a screen protect. Is she licking herself again? Oh my goodness. Ilya is such an attention-seeking cat. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. As I said, I'm putting this right back in here because I am not risking getting this scratch since the screen is plastic, not glass. So you girl ain't risking nothing. Sorry, I have absolutely no idea where we cut off there on my cards filled because I forgot to delete the footage from the Tim Tim video. But hopefully we got that. <laughs> I think we got the vast majority of it because I did check to make sure it was in focus when I was trying to show the decals. Um, sorry, not the decals, the silhouettes. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going insane. Right. Joy-Con 1. Pikachu Joy-Con in yellow. 
Very cute. Love it. And the Eevee one. If I didn't know this was like an Eevee colour, I'd be tempted to think it was kind of gross. I don't know, just like the brown is a bit weird, but the brown with the black actually looks quite cool. I like that. I'm scared that I'm gonna scratch this one a lot with my ring <laughs> when I'm playing it, if I'm like holding it like that. Again, I don't know exactly how these would fit in your hands necessarily, I don't know if it would even end up grazing that, but if it does, uh, I hope it doesn't. In terms of portability and in terms of actually transporting this, I did order the gold Pikachu aluminium Hori switch case, which I believe releases today. I haven't had an email yet saying it's been dispatched, which is slightly stressful, but I should be getting that tomorrow or Monday, I'm assuming. I don't know. For some reason, they didn't offer same day shipping on that, which seems slightly bizarre to me, but they just have Pokemon paraphernalia everywhere. Right, let me just sort this out so I can do an outro real quick. Hello again. Okay, so I'm not going to be doing a setup, a start up, a playthrough or anything um, just now because I want to get it charged up, I want to get this edited and out as quickly as I possibly can so that it's on the actual day of release. But I just wanted to have a really, really quick overview of it. I wanted to do the unboxing just as a pure unboxing first impressions of the actual console itself. You'll have noticed that I didn't show the game at any point. The game comes pre-installed so you don't get the um, physical copy of it but I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna end up buying the Pikachu one anyway so I'll just get the physical copy of that version. But yeah, that's, um, that's my look at it. I just realised how zoomed in I was, good one. Coming straight off of my first impressions, my favourite thing about this entire thing might be the Pokeball Plus. Like, it feels really really nice to just hold like it feels I don't want to say it feels expensive because like it feels both expensive and cheap at the same time I don't know the the matte texture is really nice and um, it feels good to hold it's like good to grip I mean I can't see this slipping out of my hands I'm excited to see the button flashing with the different colors depending on the type of the Pokemon you catch and I'm really interested in the rumble mechanics as well so I'm looking forward to setting this up which I'm gonna do as soon as I finish this I need to shut up the only thing that feels a little bit cheap about it is maybe the the button press like when it's off the button press just feels a bit lackluster but I mean that's a very minor detail it might be better with the rumble it might like vibrate a bit when it like clicks in I don't know it might make a noise because it does make noises I can't I don't think you can actually silence this so <laughs> can't be taking anybody into class or work or anything like that no Pokemon will be coming out with me to things like that but they can come along with me if I go grocery shopping or something I don't know but yes please look forward to my next video on this I don't know if my next video coming out will be on this necessarily or I don't know I might make it a series if I do decide to do a playthrough but honestly it's quite unlikely I don't have the screen capture mechanics or anything like that, but I will do another video just not reviewing it necessarily, but just having a look at it, you know, start it up, see how I like the game. I have like somewhat high expectations of it because I'm like not hardcore Kanto girl, like I'm not like this is the ultimate Pokemon region or anything like that, but like you know, it got me into it in the first place and they have a special place in my heart so I'm excited to try it out anyway and it means I'm gonna have to start up Pokemon Go again to try and get some Meltan candies <laughs> if I really want to be that like precise about completing the game but I have time so we'll see. Thank you very much for checking this video out, please subscribe if you're new and check out my Instagram at Nindorotri, I'll put it somewhere here, I'll put it here. I haven't been updating in a while, I'll be honest. I'm not giving you much reason to follow me, but like, I will, I promise. I've been so busy with university, but I finish very, very soon. <laughs> Within a month, I will be done and I can focus a lot more of my energies on my social media presence. Whether that's a good use of my time or not, I have no idea, but thank you. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I hope this is gonna be fun, okay? Let me know if you are Team Pikachu or Team Eevee. That's a good thing to comment, actually. Do that. And happy playing. <laughs> Bye guys.